Hey guys, Sarge here. What I'm going to talk about today on this episode of Shooting It on a Monday uh, is a couple comments I've seen in regards to appendix carry. My kind of rules when it comes to carrying a gun, I have two of them, right? Um, one, make sure that you are carrying a proven safe gun that you have trained with. Two, uh, make sure that the carry method in which you're using, so the holster that I'm using, properly retains the gun and does not allow anything to go inside of the trigger guard to possibly affect the gun in any form or, or shape, okay? Um, why is that important? Well, one, some holsters out there, even when the gun is retained, allow for a finger to still get in there to touch around the trigger guard. No good, right? Don't, don't do that. Um, why is this important? Well, I've heard a lot of people talk about kind of what gun should I get for carry? How should I carry it? And then when they say, well, oh, I carry appendix or you should carry appendix. People are like, oh, you'll shoot your whatever off. Uh, me personally, I carry in this Talon Slimline. Sometimes I carry in the appendix. Sometimes I carry at three o'clock. But because I've met those two rules of mine, it doesn't really matter where I carry because nothing's going to happen to it, okay? Um, the issue comes when you don't meet those two rules, meaning it's not a proven gun that you've trained with and it isn't a safe holster, okay? Uh, that doesn't properly retain the gun and it allows things to get in the trigger guard. That's when, that's when dumb things happen. Um, I've had a lot of students who have said, man, I want something with a manual safety on it. I want something X, Y, or Z, and that's fine, okay? Do whatever, one, carrying a gun is all that matters, okay? Carry a gun. We eat our own in the sense of, we tell people, well, you should carry a gun, you should carry a gun. Then as soon as they do, okay, we shouldn't carry that one. Okay, well, let's just be happy that they've made the decision to defend themselves, defend their family, or whatever it is. And then let's make sure that we are encouraging that. We do not encourage anything when we shoot down everybody's opinion on everything in just a, a negative way. Okay, now are there ways to say, hey, look, you're wanting a carry gun. Maybe this full-size bread in 92 is not the best route for you. Maybe look at the 92 compact or, you know, something that effect. That's a much better conversation to start going into than, oh, don't carry that piece of crap, da 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 okay, because that's what you think, but, you know, 30-something years of, of use, it's, it's pretty good. So the, those are the things to think about, guys, and especially when it comes to carry position. Just because you carry a certain way does not mean that everybody wants to carry that way. Like I said, I carry in the appendix and I carry it at 3 o'clock. If the gun is safe at my three o'clock, it's also going to be safe in the appendix position. Um, but a lot of students have, have come out to training courses and they've never shot a Glock before and they just automatically assume, well, okay, hey, our Glock style pistol, whether it's P320, M and P, Glock, okay, um, they just kind of, oh, I want a manual safety on the gun. Well, once they go through the class and they learn how to properly handle the firearm, they learn how to properly draw the gun from a holster, they learn how to properly reholster, and they identify all those other steps to it, they realize that, oh, okay, it really doesn't, really doesn't matter as long as, you know, we know this gun very well, we know that there's not a bunch of, you know, different little parts in it that are exchanged out from aftermarket, and I know in this configuration what the gun will do, we're good. And that's the biggest part of it. So for me, if I was gonna carry a gun, right, I go take it to the shooting range, I'll, I'll put it in a holster and I'll try out some different things, and I'll make sure that, okay, this gun is 100% good. Uh, for me to decide to carry a gun, it has to go through anywhere from about 500 to 1,000 rounds without an issue. Um, the reason why I say 500 to 1,000, if I have never used the gun or any type of the gun before, it's 1,000 rounds. So that, that's just kind of for me. If it is guns that I'm very used to, like Glocks, 200 to 500 rounds, got it. Okay, nothing's really changed on them. Um, then during your maintenance time, you're looking for any excessive wear or anything that would be abnormal from what you're already used to. Okay, so that's kind of what I look at. But when it comes to carrying in the appendix, a lot of people who say, well, you shouldn't carry in the appendix, you should carry it three o'clock, a lot of them don't even carry guns. Okay, so that's something to look at. Look at people who actually carry guns and also look at we are all shaped differently. Um, we are all going to probably like different styles of holsters or different things. That's why they're all out there. So we should be encouraging the fact that people do, in fact, want to carry. And maybe instead of, you know, bashing them for no reason at all because they're choosing to defend themselves, which all of us should, we should try to support in positive manners, even if maybe we're critiquing something. Okay. Meaning like, hey, man, I don't think that Taurus XYZ or, hey, I don't think that XDS 
is a good, uh, you know, maybe not the best carry option. What if, how often have you shot it or what rounds have you put through it? Because I had a lot of people in Texas come through some training classes and one of them had an XDS, I believe it was a 45, and it could not get through, I would say maybe two magazines was the most magazine count it went through without an issue. And it just kept having like primer strikes. Um, I had another buddy of mine who had one, same issue with his, but then you'll hear people online who are paid by Springfield, okay, and who aren't real advocates at all tell you how great they are. So just, just things to, to think about. That might not be a gun that I wanna carry at all, right? But how do I know that if I don't have individuals who have kind of seen things in this community or whatever kind of talk me through it? And that's one of the biggest things. Same with the appendix carry. Um, it, appendix carry is as safe as you are, okay? Um, if you are unsafe, appendix carry is unsafe. <laughs> if you are safe, it'll be okay. All right, so that's my thoughts, guys. Let me know if you guys carry the appendix or the three o'clock. For me personally, I uh, like this McKinetech Kinoflex. It's obviously dedicated to the appendix. These are great holsters. I'm kind of switching more towards, this is the, the Talon Slimline from McKinetech. I'm switching more towards this style just because you can switch it from your three o'clock to your appendix and you just carry however you want that day, but you know, you're still carrying the setup. So let me know what you guys think. What kind of holster designs do you guys like? Please make sure we like this video, subscribe to the channel. As always guys, we have a lot of stuff coming out. Thanks for watching, Sarge out.